This will be a lesson on how to calculate Pitocin, and it will not be a page long. First thing that we'll look at is our order. Pitocin is um, ordered at 2 milliunits a minute. The availability of Pitocin is 20 units in 1,000 cc of D5LR. First thing we're going to do is follow some steps when calculating Pitocin drips. This is how you will set the problem up. You need to understand how you are setting the problem up. You can't just memorize the formula. If you will go by these uh, couple of steps, then you will be able to set up any, any kind of fluid drip. First of all, you want to look at what am I holding, which is your milliliters or your fluid, how much medication is in the bag, do I need to convert, and what is the doctor's orders. If you will follow this every single time, it will work. Step one. What am I holding? You're holding a thousand cc's or a thousand mils. So write down a thousand mils and draw a line underneath it. Step two, how much medication is in the bag? It's 20 units of Pitocin. So put down 20 units underneath that. Step three, do I need to convert? Yes, because the order is two milliunits and you have 20 units. Instead of moving decimals, just use a one over 1,000. So far we have a thousand mils with 20 units. We need to convert because our order is going to be in milliunits. So just put 1 over 1,000 and you're going to times that out. By placing 1 over 1,000 here, you will not have to move decimals, which is the most common mistakes made on math problems. Step 4. What is my order? It's 2 milliunits a minute. Now that we have what we are holding, which is a thousand mils, how much medication is in the bag, 20 units, and we're converting automatically by placing one over 1,000 in the middle. Now we need to plug in the order. Notice I used hour here instead of minutes. We will do that in a moment. So see how the one over 1,000 will convert this for you automatically. You no know moving decimals in this problem. Um, in fact, you don't ever have to move decimals when calculating fluid when using dimensional math and this is what this is, is a dimensional math problem. Now all we need to do is calculate the problem. There will be no need to clear your calculator. This is another great thing about using dimensional math is that you never have to clear your calculator. This is the easiest way to calculate Pitocin drip and no one page long problems that will confuse you. So let's look at it again and we're going to go back over the steps. What am I holding? 1,000 mils. What's in it? 20 units. Do I need to convert? Yes. So put 1 over 1,000. What is my order? 2 million units and then I'm going to put it over 1 hour. Okay, we're, even though we're going to give this in minutes, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So we're going to have 2,000. Uh, it, that equals 1,000 times 1 times 2 will equal 2,000. Then we're going to say 20 units times 1,000 times 1 hour equals 20,000. So once you have that, you just say 2,000 divided by 20,000. This will equal 0 0.1. There's only one more thing left to do, and do not clear your calculator. Now that you have 0 0.1, all you have to do is times it by 0 0.1 times 60 minutes, because we have not yet addressed the order in minutes yet. So 0 0.1 times 60 equals 6 mils an hour. So see how easy this was? Now let's do another one using the steps I showed you. Remember, dose over hand will not work for all problems. Learning dimensional math now will help you with the calculation of drips. This will uh, also be how we set up, and I teach math, uh, for every drip problem on the sophomore level. So it makes it very easy. And you don't have to learn a different way for each problem. And if you're doing a page-long problem for Pitocin, then you're going to have to learn a different way or ways of setting up drips unless you use dimensional math. As nurses, Pitocin is not our only drip calculation that we will be doing. So let's look at another order. We have Pitocin at 3 million units a minute. Available is 1,000 cc's of D5LR with 10 units of Pitocin added. Let's do our steps. Step 1, what am I holding? 1,000 mils. Step 2, what's in it? It's 10 units. Do I need to convert? Yes. Put 1 unit over 1,000 milliunits. What is the doctor's order? 3 milliunits. And we're going to put it over 1 hour because that's what the um, pump is set at, but we're going to have to do it by minutes. So, like I said, we'll calculate that later. Again, 1,000 mils times 1 times 3 equals 3,000 divided by 10,000 equals 0 0.3, and that's what your calculator will show. No reason to clear it. 0 0.3 times 60 equals 18 mils an hour. See how easy this is? 
Chapter 4 in your key pharmacology text has a whole chapter dedicated to math calculations. If you're enrolled in the online portion of the text, which is a code if you purchased it, then you have access to online materials. If you calculate a problem wrong twice, then it will give you a tutor, and you select how you want to calculate the problem, and they will show you step by step. It's not hard. You just have to use it. As nursing students, you have many resources at your fingertips, and you need to use them. Also, I usually post a uh, YouTube tutorial on how to use Chapter 4 in your key pharmacology if you have the online portion. Some students enrolled in this form class um, went ahead and purchased the online portion. And it's an extra, thinking around $50 or $60, but it is a very good uh, tool and it will also be available to you as a student for two years. If you have any questions, please let me know.